Let's do this one now, okay? PCL5. Yeah, I'm on my way. Maybe I should just have you be my camera. PCL5, okay? So, um, how will we normally do this? Okay, so hopefully you guys can already see something's weird about this one, right? Because you would expect phosphorus and chlorine to make what compound? PCL3. PCL3, okay? <coughs> But it's not that, it's expanded. So phosphorus must be expanding its valence, okay? So let's draw phosphorus as the central atom. Like that, okay? And we'll put our chlorines around it. Is everybody okay with what I've done so far? Right, that makes sense? What happens is these three you would expect to be bonding, right? But what will happen is one of these will be promoted into another orbital, so it's by itself, so it can bond, okay? And we'll talk more about this in a second. We do a molecular orbital theory. So this is going to give us something that's more, got more things bonded to the central atom than the tetrahedral electronic structure. Is everybody okay with that? Okay. So in this case, it's going to be five things. Can I erase this so I can show the perspective? Has everybody got this one? Right? So when we draw it, we're going to have four atoms in the plane, like that, and then two atoms, not in and remember, this is through Vesper theory, as far as they can get away from each other. Okay. So you see one, two, three, four atoms in the plane, right? This one's coming towards us, that one's going away. Okay. So we call the ones around the center um, equatorial, like an equator, right? Right? Equatorial like an equator. So if you want to look, those three are the equatorial. These two are the axial ones, this one and this one. Okay. Is everybody okay with that? Can you say that again? Equatorial and axial. Okay. So what was your question going to be? How do you know when they're going to be on a different plane? You just got, you got to know the central atom and how many things are bonded to it. So how many electrons? So just like what we were doing tetrahedral, this is the next one up, okay? Okay, and then are those two CLs on the same plane? These two? Mm -hmm. As each other, yes, right? They're all on the same plane, right? Mm -hmm. So all four of those atoms are also on the same plane too, right? But they're, this, one's, this one's not on the same plane as these things yeah. here, yeah. right? Okay, this one's in front and that one's behind. But this one, this one, this one, and that one are all in the same plane if you turn it over like that. Right? So check this out. Here. Catch this for her. I can catch things. Yeah, but you I'm can't see, up. right? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you couldn't even see the clock two seconds ago, so. Okay, so anyways, this thing, hopefully you, you can see kind of the pyramid, right? You see the pyramid there and kind of an upside down pyramid there. This thing is called uh, <laughs> um, 
bipyramidal. Okay, so uh, and uh, if we look, this bond angle here is 90 degrees, and this bond angle here is 120 degrees. Okay, as you would expect. So trigonal bipyramidal, right? So there's two triangles on top of each other. Okay. So are there any questions about this one? So are the the, um, the three CLs in the plane with the P? Is that because uh, P should have three should like should have three CLs? How it's supposed to be, but it has five. No, it has nothing to do with that. It's it's just about how far away these electron groups want to push each other. Okay. okay. It has nothing to do with what it's supposed to do previously. Okay. okay. So it's just that these ones want to be as far apart from each other as possible. These ones want to be as far apart from each other as possible, and these ones want to be as far apart from each other as possible. So you also have another bond angle here, right? That one, which is 180. So, if I asked you, electronic structure, this is trigonal, bipyramidal, okay, and the molecular structure is also trigonal bipyramidal. So I, I, I'd also say go watch the other video. I made one of an octahedral complex, which is that one that we talked about earlier, SF6, okay? So I recorded that video earlier. It's fairly similar to this one, okay?